Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Jennifer Crosby with Stark Systems and I will serve as your moderator. Today we will be introducing you to our newest solution, Fireblock Wall. A couple of housekeeping items before we get started. Today's presentation is being recorded and will be sent in a follow-up email to you. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question box in your GoToWebinar control panel. We will save time for questions at the end of the presentation. Now, without further ado, I would like to turn things over to our presenters to introduce themselves and to get started. Hi, I'm George Kieswitter. I'm Vice President of Marketing here at Stark Systems. Thank you for joining us today. And hi, Bruce Bickford. I'm the VP of Product Development, co-creator of the Stark Systems product line, and leader of the team that created Fireblock Wall. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Uh, sorry about that. Um, Stark has been the leader in temporary containment for years, and we're the only company that can offer you multiple temporary containment solutions uh, to fit your needs. We are relied on by top contractors and healthcare facilities across the country in all 50 states <clears throat> and in multiple foreign countries. Our customers have been requesting from us for a while now a one-hour fire-rated containment solution, and we listened. We are committed to bringing innovation to temporary containment. Uh, the best containment just got better again. Uh, we are introducing uh, the first and only modular reusable one hour fire rated solution uh, on the market. It's up to 75% faster to install than traditional drywall. It's extremely durable, it can be used on job after job after job. And because it's reusable and so durable, it typically pays for itself after just uh, three to five uses, and then it generates ongoing cost savings. It's got superior noise blocking with an SDC rating of 40. It's exceptionally stable and looks and feels like a real wall when installed. It looks great, blends into the existing healthcare environment all the while, uh, while, hi while hiding the disruption of renovations, and it exceeds ICRA Class 4 and ASTM E84 requirements. Um, Fireblock Wall checks all the boxes, and it's passed the requirements to be a listed one hour fire rated assembly. It has passed Intertex E119 test and meets the IBC and NFPA 101 uh, fire codes. So this is just a, a high-level system of uh, a high-level overview of how our system works. Um, so first, uh, it allows you to create uh, a one-hour fire rate and containment for ceiling heights from eight feet to ten feet. The major components of this uh, rated system would be a customer-built fire rated soffit down from the deck. Uh, and then we have perimeter telescoping floor, wall, and top tracks that connect to the listed assemblies. We have a modular uh, reusable panels that actually sit inside the tracks. And then we have, of course, negative air panels um, that provide uh, air management capabilities. I'll dive into each of these um, in a little bit more detail. So the, the panels themselves are a centerpiece of our solution. Uh, they come in a variety of widths and heights to accommodate eight to 10 foot ceilings. Um, and virtually any job requirement that you'll likely have. Uh, the panel widths themselves are six inches, 12 inches, and 24. We have six inch and 12 inch extension panels if you need those. Uh, the panels are comprised of uh, rugged galvanized steel on the front and backs for superior durability. We have a proprietary core insulation that stops fire and blocks noise. Um, the panels feature our fast and simple lift and drop uh, connection system. 
Um, each panel has a durable white powder coating that looks great in a healthcare environment. Um, it's easily cleanable um, and it hides the disruption of renovation. Uh, when the panels are connected uh, by, by means of a tongue and groove connection system, they form an airtight seal that exceeds uh, ICRA class four requirements. And once installed, they are extremely stable. Uh, the top, bottom, and wall tracks um, are all telescoping, and they provide a lot of flexibility that allow you to adapt to specific height, height and widths of your particular project. Um, the floor, wall, and top tracks all include pre-measured snap-cut perforated joints, so you can easily customize the lengths from uh, 12 inches to 120 inches just using tin snips. Uh, the floor tracks on the bottom have dual closed cell phone gaskets uh, that provide traction uh, on the floor and help anchor the track to the floor. Uh, the top and wall tracks are nine and a half inches deep, making the assembly more adaptable, flexible, and customizable. And once the uh, top and wall tracks are installed, you simply add insulation to each track, uh, attach the cover, and uh, thus making it a one hour rated assembly. Um, one thing to note on the floor tracks, the system has been uh, certified without having to bolt the floor track uh, to the floor. Um, but if you choose to do that, we have supplied uh, pre-drilled holes in the track um, if you, if you want to go that way. Uh, the corners are really robust. Um, they connect uh, to the panels, again, using the, uh, the simple, easy lift and drop connection system. Uh, they come in two configurations, 90 and 135 degrees, and they fit ceiling heights uh, 8 feet to 10 feet uh, tall. Um, we make air management easy with uh, two different 24-inch uh, wide rated panels that work together. Um, the first is the negative air panel with some really cool features. It has a, a 12 inch duct, uh, which can be used with a HEPA, ma HEPA machine to discharge air. Uh, the air diffuser only discharges air upward and sideways. So it's limiting, disturbing, dangerous dust on the floor. It also features a fusible link that automatically closes the damper when the temperature exceeds 165 degrees. Um, the second is the air monitor panel uh, itself. It features a universal mounting bracket that accepts all common manometers, um, and that also has a two-inch rated pass-through for wiring. Uh, the one-hour fire, uh, our door has a 45-minute uh, rating and is self-closing and meets NFPA and IBC code requirements. Um, there are three components that, that make up our door. Uh, the first is the Stark adapter frame, um, and that mates with our panels on both sides with the simple lift and drop connection. Then the knockdown steel buck uh, frame is installed inside, inside the Stark frame, and then the door is hung. Uh, the door itself is seven feet tall, 48 inches wide with a 39 inch clear opening. Um, the buck itself can be flipped so the door can swing either in or out. Uh, the handle set and closer are one hour rated and we offer uh, multiple lock options depending on the security uh, that your job requires. We do have over the door panels that uh, allow you to create a fire rated seal from the top of the door uh, to the top track. So uh, the, uh, the NFPA 101 or IBC code uh, mandates that a fire rated wall must be constructed from the floor uh, to the deck above. Um, to meet this requirement, uh, a customer would build a fire rated soffit down from the deck uh, to above the ceiling. That's the soffit wall there in the image. Um, then the top track of our system would connect to the bottom of the soffit and then our panels would uh, uh, attach to that, uh, creating a fire rated listed assembly. The, the only exception uh, in this case would be if your drop tile ceiling uh, had a one hour fire rating, uh, but most, most drop tile ceilings don't. Um, 
So to be a rated assembly, a fully certified rated assembly, you would need to build that soffit and then our system would connect from the bottom of that soffit down to the floor. Um, we do know in speaking with customers um, that there could be instances where the local AHJ um, potentially approves a solution that is not one hour fire rated. Um, in this case, a fire block wall would be installed up to the drop tile ceiling. And then from there uh, up to the deck, they would use either fire rated poly or coroplast. Um, this installation, you know, this installation scenario could only be used if the local AHJ approves, um, but it's important to note that it, it would not be a one hour uh, fire rated solution. Actually, I just want to go back a second. Um, in, this, in this case, uh, if you are going just to the ceiling, um, the one thing that's uh, really important is the um, to provide the required stability, uh, the top of the fire block wall uh, must be anchored to either the deck above or the building wall. And we offer multiple bracing options that, that allow you to achieve this. Um, but it's important to note if you if you go this way that it's um, the drop tile ceiling cannot under any circumstances be the, uh, the only point of bracing. Um, all of our uh, all of our fire block wall comes uh, shipped to the job site on a cart, uh, which can be wheeled right off the truck, uh, right to the job site. Each cart can accommodate up to 24 feet of panels, and it's ideal for um, for storing or moving fire block wall from uh, job site to job site. We do offer dust covers uh, to protect the panels and and keep them uh, clean when they're not in use. And I'd like to just uh, show a short time-lapse video that demonstrates how easy and quick the system is to install. You'll see a number of people uh, coming in and out of the video, but it, it was actually installed with just two laborers in the, in the hard hats. Um, there's some music, um, so I'm not able to really voice over it, but I'll tell you what they're doing. First, they're lining up the corner base and determining the center lines for all the perimeter tracks. Then the floor tracks are installed. Um, then they install the wall tracks and then the top tracks. Once all the tracks are installed, the panels are installed using the simple lift and drop connection. They start from the corner, they work their way out to the walls. And then once all the panels are installed, um, they install the uh, wall and top track insulation. They put the covers on, secure the covers. And then the final step is to install the door adapter uh, the steel block and then hang the door and uh, two workers were able to install 25 feet in this configuration in just uh, one and a half hours. Just one point of clarification on that video: the um, uh, the door it was um, was not painted white. The door comes uh, painted white. So um, just wanted to clarify that. Um, at Stark, uh, we pride ourselves pride ourselves on customer service, and we're here to help. Um, just like our other solutions, you would provide us. Uh, with a project plan that details your measurements um, and phases. We would then provide a quote and can, de uh, can develop a fire block wall layout uh, as shown here on the right. 
Um, so that's a, a quick overview of our system. Uh, hopefully you now have a better sense of, of how fire block wall works and the benefits it has to offer. Um, just to recap, it's the, we are the first and only modular reusable one hour fire rated temporary containment solution on the market. We're 75% faster to deploy uh, than traditional drywall. We're exceptionally durable. You can use it on job after job after job. And because it's reusable and extremely durable, it pays for itself after just three to five uses and then generates ongoing cost savings. It provides superior noise blocking with an SDC rating of 40. It's exceptionally stable and looks and feels like a real wall. It looks great, is easily cleanable and blends into the existing healthcare environment while hiding the disruption or innovation. And lastly, it exceeds ICRA class four and ASTM EV4 requirements. Um, so we now offer uh, three solutions to solve whatever temporary containment challenges you might have. Um, while all three of our solutions have much in common, um, they are each designed to help you meet different needs. So the first is light barrier. It's a lighter weight alternative. It's more durable than polycarbonate and it has a lower upfront cost. Real wall uh, reduces, uh, reduces noise and provides the stability of a real wall. And then fire block wall uh, is one hour fire rated, 75% faster to install than traditional drywall. And it, offer, it also offers the most noise blocking. So uh, I wanna thank you for your time. I appreciate you, uh, you spending uh, some of your lunch hour, depending on where you are. Um, Jen, like to open it up for questions. Great. Thank you, George. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take some time for questions now. Just a reminder, please be sure to type your questions into the question box in the control panel. Um, it does look like we have a couple of questions. Um, so for Bruce, first question from Justin is, does the drop ceiling grid wall anger, angle get screwed directly to the Stark fire block wall? The supporting system for the grid uh, gets attached to the soffit track. And so again, our, our panel system floats within the track system. And so when we mount the, to the grid, uh, we attach the grid temporarily to the, uh, attach, excuse me, attach the track temporarily to the soffit, uh, to the grid uh, with our brackets, and then uh, put in the building bracing uh, to that soffit track. And then once all that's in place, then we attach, uh, we install the wall panels. Great. Another question from Lena, what is the cost difference of uh, the rated fire rated wall panels versus the other uh, wall panel products that we have? Uh, fire block wall is about 30% more expensive than, uh, than real wall. Great. And um, Anthony asked, can we please repeat the door opening dimensions? Sure. The the door itself is a three foot six by six foot eight door. Uh, so the clear opening uh, through that door is 39 inches. Another question from Brandon. Is the system paintable and are different textures and finishes available? The, the wall panels are, uh, again, uh, steel panels with white powder coating on the front side. And those are clearly, uh, could be painted. Uh, they also can accept vinyl graphics. It's a nice, smooth, even surface with minimal joints. And so if you wanted to put promotional graphics on the panels, uh, just to bring in one of your standard uh, vinyl graphics companies, graphic uh, sand companies, and they can do that for you. But uh, uh, the uh, but otherwise, yes, they can be uh, painted with a, a latex paint. Great. Another question, is the system certified by OS OSHPOD in California? We are working with uh, California OSHPOD uh, and uh, engineering consultants to uh, prepare a pre-certification plan of what they call an OPM plan. And uh, we are in the process of working on that uh, with a uh, official uh, completion of that program in the summer. 
Uh, for now, though, we have uh, initially then we'll have uh, engineering analysis available uh, for submittal uh, on any given project uh, to support the uh, uh, support the wall system in conjunction with our fire rating. A question from Alvin, as a one hour fire rated assembly, it is usually rated by UL, that was not mentioned, is it UL rated? We achieved uh, our rating uh, for, to the ASTM E119 standard through Intertech, uh, which is an equivalent uh, rating agency. And UL offers uh, their uh, 263 standard, which is identical to the ASTM standard. Um, and we've just chosen to initially uh, have our product listed through Intertech. Uh, again, though, it's an equivalent rating, which is, um, I, I, uh, excuse me, accepted and recognized uh, by uh, AHJs. Question from Karen. Is there any future plan for a larger door or double door configuration? Yes, we're looking forward to additional features and capabilities of the wall system, uh, including larger doors and double doors. Uh, that is in our uh, near-term plans. Question from Paul. How are the panels notched around above ceiling utilities? Pipes and ducts? So again, the concept here for the product is that we require a prepared opening to achieve that full fire rating so that any obstructions uh, either on the walls or the ceilings uh, have to be either removed or or um, in, uh, encased, I guess you will say, uh, by a soffit. Uh, so therefore, that's the whole reason for we talk about our walls go from eight to 10 feet and you would build a soffit down through all the, around all the conduit and ductwork and uh, in utilities that are above the ceiling uh, to get to a, an elevation where we can meet it with a clean, flat, horizontal surface. And the same thing applies for any wall obstructions. If there's handrails, valances, you know, other fixtures, uh, toe kicks or whatnot on the wall that, that uh, cannot be removed, uh, that we would ask that a uh, stub wall be built out around those uh, that's also one hour rated and that we meet up to the face of the stub wall. Question from Phil, do, do the walls have the fire rating listed on them that meet code requirements for posting the rating? Yes, each uh, panel component has a uh, label on it, which identifies it as a rated listed component uh, and other critical po components uh, will have labeling as well. And I've got a question from Chuck that I'm gonna go ahead and answer. Yes, Chuck, um, this presentation is being recorded and will be sent in a follow-up email to you um, after this uh, presentation is over. Uh, question from Jesse, understanding we would not meet a fire rated assembly, are these compatible with the other systems? They are, are certainly compatible with our real wall and light barrier systems. Uh, the, uh, we would essentially, once you've put up our fire block wall product, uh, the other systems would then just butt up to it with our you know, standard uh, wall interface components so that uh, it would treat it once it's in place just like a real wall. Great. Looks like covered all the questions here. Uh, I did want to ask Bruce, um, what are a few of the more common questions you're hearing from our customers? If you wanted to share that with our audience. I, I think uh, certainly, again, in terms of the design of the product, the adaptability uh, is matches our other product lines. Uh, we've engineered the systems to be to take any uh, given floor plan and accommodate that. So there's no restrictions in terms of unit length you know, our six inch, 12 inch, uh, 24 inch panels are designed with that wall track assembly, which absorbs up to six inches of variance so that uh, any floor plan can be accommodated. Uh, any height can, can be accommodated between eight feet and 10 feet. Uh, so we try to maintain that, uh, that reusability as well as that adaptability to any situation. Great. We did have a couple more questions. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, yeah, Bruce. Go ahead. No, go ahead. We'll um, we had a couple more questions come in. Um, one from Thomas. Uh, do, do the light barrier or real wall have any sort of fire resistance rating? 
both products, uh, Light Barrier and Railwall, have our flame and smoke generation uh, listing, which is that ASTM E84, uh, and we're well compliant within that. So minimizing the impact of any flame contribution or smoke contribution to a fire event. Uh, both both of those products, however, are not uh, capable of meeting the one hour requirement, and hence that's why we came out with Fire Block Wall. Great. So it looks like we've covered all of our questions. Uh, Bruce or George, is there anything else you wanted to cover before we wrap up? Uh, no, I just would like to thank everybody for their time. Great. Yep. Yes, Likewise, thank you again. Uh, please, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just, nope. I just want to say that uh, please reach out to, uh, to the team here if you have any additional questions or want to know more about it. Thank you. Great, yes. Thank you again so much for joining us today. We appreciate you being here and we hope you have a great day.